Thirty-one sixty. Yes, sir. Hundred dollars. You keep the change, young nigga. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yes, I hope that motivated you to do do to get some money, yeah. Mm -hmm. A seventy dollar tip, nigga. Yes. Fuck. Hope that motivate that nigga to get some money and don't work at fucking Sonic, nigga. Nigga try to make a fucking hit, nigga. You can leave a tip, nigga. Fuck that. <coughs> gotta do what you gotta do right now, though. Gotta do what you gotta do right now. I feel you, nigga. Go get you a fucking half ounce with that nigga and flip that. Fuck that. Go get you a motherfucking couple ounces, nigga. Fuck that. Make a hit or something. Ain't gonna get rich working in no motherfucking signing, nigga. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in real quick, man, on Boosie. Throwing, showing a lot of love to a sonic worker, man. Um, Somebody asked me to cover this, and they asked me, was Boosie wrong for recording this? And I say no, because he was already on IG Live. We know Boosie wasn't doing no clout chasing. If you know Boosie, he not clout chasing about no $70. But he really spoke the real, man. Like, hey. And, and, and people leave bits and pieces out of shit because they was like, hey, man, go buy you this. Go flip this. Go flip that. Go get you some. Buy you something and flip it, nigga. True. Boosie did say that. But at the same time, he said you got to do what you got to do right now, dog. Meaning he's not shaming that nigga for working at Sonic. He's saying, hey, to other niggas, man, understand. It's part of the process, shit. You got to do what you got to do right now, nigga. But, hey, basically stay focused on getting away out this shit. And a lot of niggas, bro, you can get comfortable. You can get in situations where shit is going smoothly and you ain't really capitalizing on your ambition or putting your ambition into play or just working your brain and opening your brain up to like, bro, I ain't got to just be stuck at Sonic. Like, nigga, I'm here right now working and grinding to keep money in my pocket and get by. But, man, you know, no no disrespect to nobody working at Sonic, but, man, you know, you trying to, unless you finna work your way up to general manager or be, be oh, you know, general managers who be over four or five Sonics or over a district of Sonic chains and Sonic restaurants are like, okay, then you could get that real bag. But man, you know, wait, working at these restaurants like that, bro, they not really paying you that much. They working the shit out you and you got to deal with the disrespect that comes from the public. How often do you think a nigga get a $70 tip from a rapper or anybody? It's very rare. You know, they be happy to get $3 tips, $2 tips, $5 tips. You're going to be excited. But it's like, shit, you got to do what you got to do in the beginning, but always have an extra strategy to where you can live more comfortable is what Boosie was trying to get across. And, and like I said, he was already on IG Live before he left the tip. I don't think he was clout chasing, man. These artists like Boosie, people like Boosie who been through hell and back in life and with music, they always giving back and showing love to the people. Boosie bash, things of that nature. So, you know, it is what it is, bro. That You gotta, you know, if, if, if you come up in the world and you are can't afford to give back and give advice, this is what it is, bro. This is hands-on charity work what niggas gotta understand this is hands-on this is more impactful right here than a nigga sending a twenty thousand dollar check to a company to me you impacted this person you know because niggas send these checks to red cross and all these places we don't even know if niggas ever see that money but this right here in this video can make another motherfucker feel like hey man this shit possible for me and that dude right there he gonna feel like man you know what that shit can wake him up and then he can spread that same energy to somebody else. Like, hey, bro, man, this nigga Boosie told me this. I'm finna do this shit, nigga. I can do something. Whether it's working, creating your own business, rapping, clothing line, uh, going to college and trying to become your own boss and getting doctor, anything, man. You got to take motherfucking constructive criticism in life and you got to motherfucking take advice and you got to keep an open mind if you trying to boss up and have your own shit man or else you're gonna be stuck just work it ain't nothing wrong with working with no for nobody either i want to make that very clear too bro working a job to feed your family bro that does not make you less of a man i know in hip-hop and rap a lot of niggas but understand there's a lot of niggas who sit up here and disrespect the fuck out of niggas 
because they have jobs or they feel like getting a job is beneath them. But it's niggas out here with zero dollars in their pocket who refuse to get a motherfucking job. They ready to live off another nigga before they go get another job, which is basically disgraceful to me, dog. Nigga, fuck that. If you ain't up, you need to go get you a gig. Fuck living off another nigga. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politicians TV 1000.